Hello and welcome to Two Minute Reviews, the show where we review things in two minutes and today we're going to be reviewing KSI's brand new album, All Over The Place. KSI is a social media as well as overall media giant. His debut album last year, Dissimulation, was met with an embrace of support from his millions of eager fans and not so much from music listeners. Though listenable, had seemingly no unique KSI sound or flair. On this album, fittingly titled all over the place, KSI fully embraces his musical nomad status, experimenting with even more generic sounds, not just in rap, but also in pop, leading to an even more disjointed and confusing experience of an album. In terms of instrumentals, none of them are noticeably bad, because although it's unlikely for a KSI song to be produced badly, many of the beats seem like sterile remakes of some of the sounds that he's trying to copy. This album displays some of the worst vocal takes I've ever heard from KSI, particularly on the chorus of number two, his verse on patience, and every word he says on no time. This album demonstrates that his voice falls much more comfortably into darker, grittier sounding bangers like Madness and Silly. His lyrics also demonstrate this, because although songs like Madness demonstrate that when he wants, he can hone in on what he's saying lyrically, while also showing some KSI personality, his attempts at anything romantic or arousing, or even deep in songs like You, Really Love, No Pressure, Sleeping With The Enemy, fall completely flat. The features on this album are actually great. Future, 21 Savage, Polo G, Young Blood, Anne Marie, Craig David, Dino, J1, and my personal favourite, Buggy Malone. All Over the Place is in no way a cohesive album, and I get that that's the point, but it seems like KSI is coming off more volatile than versatile. I'm thinking a four.